Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We finally filled up 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition. Four box random team break number two from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks. Dug deep, filled up the break. Big Boys 007, last spot mojo. Rory's in this one too. Orioles, Cubs are your combos, as well as the Cardinals and Nationals. Let's randomize each list three times. One and a two, three times. One, two, and three. Easy. I wish they were always, I wish all the dice holes were three times. Thomas down to Randy. And three times for the teams. One, two, and third and final time. Man, that's, I like that. Rangers down to Reds. All right, so here's how it shakes out. Thomas with the Rangers. Matthew K. Brew Crew. Daniel with the Mariners. Ricky, you got the Padres. Daniel with the Indians. Jackson with the Mets. Lance with the Pirates. Greg with the Red Sox. Giuseppe with the Marlins. Daniel with the Tigers. Michael Kuntz. With the White Sox, Thomas with the A's, Chad B with the Diamondbacks, Thomas with the Yankees and the Giants, Rory, Cardinals, Nationals combo spot, Patrick K with the Phillies, Jackson, you got my Dodgers, Nicholas, you got the Rays, Big Boys, 007, Astros with your last spot mojo, Daniel Patera, Blue Jays, Nicholas Kasberg with the Royals, Patrick K, Orioles and Cubs combo spot, Thomas with the Rockies, Daniel with the Angels, Hiller, you got the Braves, Daniel with the Twins, and Randy Ramos with the Reds. Let's alphabetize by team. Feel free to trade if you would like. Rory wants the brew crew. Matthew K, if you're interested. Rory's got the Cardinals Nationals combo spot. Also, at the end of this break, separate dice roll, but at the end of the break, our final superb owl square will be given away. So congrats. We'll do this. We'll do that randomizer f for that later tonight. Remember your 2017 draft class right here on Wikipedia. There you go. Oh, and here's the Remember we marked those number 2 last break so we know that they're from the same case. For the sake of consistency, remember, in the Jumbo Edition, three Chrome autographs inside. All right, looks like no trades. TWC trade window closed. Let's print and rip. Good luck, everybody. Now, as you know, we have one more mixer to do after this. So this break will take about half an hour or so. Then we'll do the six box NFL mixer. And then we've got uh, about four or five personal boxes to do for Eric, Jesse, Andrew, and Tony. And then uh, then we'll do the then I'll have to set up and do the superb owl squares randomizer now that this is this is all full and taken care of. And then and then that's it. And then we're back on Monday, folks. We're gonna enjoy our enjoy the Super Bowl and then we'll be back in action on Monday. Alright, there you go. So Saturday. Thanks, everybody. Here is the final printout, the final list. Good luck. In basketball, I know it's a baseball break, but, but in basketball, you're thinking, you're like, well, Anthony Davis, 
requesting a trade. Kristaps Porzingis being moved. What's happening in baseball, though? Nothing. I, I guess my Dodgers signed A.J. Pollock last week. Marlon signing Neil Walker. Okay. Uh, the Twins signed Martin Perez. Rangers signed Sean Kelly. Diamondbacks signed Greg Holland. It's not exactly earth-shaking news here, folks. Mariners signed Hunter Strickland. I guess Padres are meeting with people. They met with Manny Machado. They're pursuing Manny Machado, and the Padres met with Bryce Harper in Vegas, I think, the other day. That's about it. Astro signed Wade Miley. Cool. Come on, baseball. We're, we're, we're losing uh, we're losing news cycles. Baseball's losing news cycles to to the big boys, to the other leagues. Why is the other leagues taking over the news cycle? Come on. Cold stove. Not the hot stove, the cold stove. I, I don't think, I, I don't know. I don't know if Harper, Bryce Harper knows where he wants to go. I'm sure Har Bryce Harper has places he wants to go. But are, are those the teams that are willing to give him a 10-year gazillion dollar contract? Probably not. Doesn't look like anybody wants to give that kind of contract anymore. All right, good luck, everybody. Box number one. There's Corey Abbott to 399. We'll sleeve and top load all of these. Uh, our shipping team will sort that out. We'll just set that aside for the time being. Paper does not ship, so we're going to breeze through those. Rory's going to cry if I pull a Keston Huda. Just don't watch the break, Rory. Let's check back in in about half an hour. There's Cade McClure for the White Sox. That'll be for t that'll be purple paper to 250. So obviously these stuff like these refractors will ship, inserts will ship, chromes will ship. It's just the paper that won't. First autograph is coming up. And it's going to be Mark Vientos refractor autograph for the Mets. Jackson Rover with the Metropolitans. Seventy out of four ninety nine. Nice. So Jeremy Anderson thinks Dallas Keuchel is going to go to the Brewers. I think that would be a good move. There's paper to four ninety nine. Rory, how do, Rory, you're a Brewers fan. How do you feel about that? Be a good front of the rotation guy. That's what the Brewers need, I think, in my opinion. There's Eloy Jimenez, nice gold, 44 out of 50 for the White Sox. That's going to go to Michael Koontz. All right, Rory's okay with it. Dallas Keuchel. There's KJ Harrison to 399 and Joey Morgan is your purple chrome autograph. Daniel Patera with the Tigers. Ninety out of two fifty. There's Kyle Tucker, green paper to 99 for the Astros. That's going to go to Big Boys 007.
Scott Hurst to 499. That'll be for the Cardinals. That goes to Rory. Uh, Rory's in in the southeast, I think. Jeremy Anderson. Closer to the Milwaukee area. There's Jose Tavares to 250. Jeremy, you should go, uh, you should visit his card shop. Stuart Fairchild. That's for the Red Legs. That's going to go to Randy Ramos. There's a, there's a, an assault story with Gabe Kapler. No, I haven't heard anything about that. All right. There are your three autographs from box one. Box two for random team two coming up. Good luck, everybody. I guess one interesting baseball note, according to MLBTradeRumors.com, is that JT Realmuto talks, trading talks, are in advanced stages. That's good. Joe Frasaro of MLB.com reporting that JT Riamuto trade talks are in advanced stages and four possible suitors, Reds, Padres, Dodgers, my Dodgers, and the Braves. Interesting. Dodgers could use a catcher like JT Real Muto. I'd be okay with that. Reds seem to be doing a lot of work. Do the Reds think Reds want to contend this year? Oh, Dodger prospects when he was working with them. You have to be more specific, Chris Hale. So were the were the prospects assaulting people under was Gabe Kapler assaulting Dodger prospects? Dodger prospects assaulting other people under Gabe Kapler's watch? See now I have to look this up. Oh. That's not good. So the Washington Post reported last night. This when did, when was this? This is according to Yahoo Sports. The story just dropped earlier this earlier today. And saying that Gabe Kavler did not notify the police of an assault of an alleged assault for of a 17-year-old girl. That's not good. Who are the players? There's JB Bukowskis to two to fifty gold chrome. So she was allegedly assaulted by players in a room. That's not good. Photographed the girl. Girls being represented by an attorney provided by the Dodgers. At least one of the the post did not identify the Dodgers players, and at least it says and at least one player is thought to be no longer in baseball. That's a curious situation. I guess we'll see how that pans out.
There's Seth Corey. Sorry, yeah, I see that, Rory. Out of 150, the blue paper. Distracted, distracted by this story. Just want to see, curious as to see what. Got to report that stuff, folks. <laughs> you got to report that stuff. Doesn't help anybody. There's Nick Prado for the Royals. That'll be for Nick Nick for Nick Casberg. Out of seventy five. Well, hopefully, this is Griffin Canning at three. Now, hopefully, all all that will be will be sorted out with the law. I'm sure it will. I don't know what's going to happen to Gabe Kapler. I wonder if. I wonder if. Uh, Gabe Kapler has always been somewhat. When did this? What year did this happen? Oh, in 2015. Interesting. Gabe Kapler was always thought of as a, a possible a player that a person that could possibly be the manager of the Dodgers of the big club um, after a number of years. I wonder if that was a reason why. Although then you have to wonder why didn't the Dodgers front office report that too. Well, we'll see how this goes down. I think the Dodgers front office is also possibly in trouble with the feds for some sort of there's Kyle Wright, nice Kyle Wright, class of 2017 autograph. Uh, he was a top five pick, Hiller, with the Braves. There you go, man. Out of 250, he was drafted fifth overall. Vanderbilt kid. I think he was. I think he may have been with, may have pitched with uh, Walker Bueller. So Kyle Wright's time may be approaching soon. I think the Dodgers have some sort of possible international money signing troubles that that might be there. It's out of two hundred. All right. Three more autographs to go. That Kyle Wright was our highest draft pick thus far. But we still have three autos here, three autos there, six autos to go. Good luck, ladies and gents. Good luck. Maybe we'll find another Royce Lewis. A Hunter Green would be good. He's a Southern California kid. Went to high school out here in the LA area. Two-way player Brandon McKay would be a good one. We saw Kyle Wright. What about Paven Smith? Could fill that Goldschmidt size hole at first base for the Diamondbacks. Joe Adele for the Angels. Jake Berger for the White Sox. I think Jake Berger last year was having a decent minor league campaign but then went down with a 
ACL tear, something like that. some sort of season-ending injury. But Shane Boss for the Pirates, I think, who's part of a big trade for the Rays. He, he might have been part of that Archer deal. Redelza Redemption. All right, so we'll see. Let's see. There's Justin Dunn, 250. And there's Quinton Holmes, <laughs> Rex. See, the thing is, Roy Roy's not my boss, so. Anyway, yeah, Rory has has some consideration for my health and well being. That goes to Daniel Patera and the tribe. No one's gonna be watching the stream tomorrow. Everyone's gonna be watching the Super Bowl. Super Bowl ratings are like, what are their ratings? Like thirty five million people watch the Super Bowl. There'll be nobody in this room tomorrow, during the Super Bowl. Alex Fiedo, purple paper for the Tigers. For Daniel Patera as well. Right, yeah, thank you, Rory. Rory's been working long hours too. He feels for me. Not like not like the not like whip cracking Rex. I, w I would uh I would hate to work for Rex. Tristan Lutz to 399. Last year's uh, yeah, last year's Super Bowl rig w was an all-time low. I think it dropped to only 30 million viewers <laughs> as opposed to like the usual 37 million viewers. Something like that. Yeah. There's another Quentin Holmes. There you go. Daniel Patera starting your Quinton Holmes PC. It's out of four ninety nine. Uh, question: Matthew Whitaker has a question. I don't really follow baseball. Is Bowman draft primarily rookies or other players that you don't see on the field. Seems like one of those quant quantity over quality products. No, yeah, I it's. It's all prospects. So the with with products like Bowman Draft, it's one of the biggest sort of low risk, high reward um, products that are out there. You find like back in the day, like Mike Trout out of this set, you know, is going to go for thousands of dollars. You know, what I mean, this is oftentimes their first autographs that are that are out here after they after they get drafted. This is this is the kind of stuff that that you'll find in like uh, buyback products. Like Leaf Best of Baseball will often have like the top rookies from this year from these draft sets that are out there. So these are all prospects. So like it's, these are like buy buy low sort of stocks, hoping that they'll turn into like Amazon or Google or Apple or something like that. So these are all, all guys who are drafted and in the minor leagues. There's Brian Miller for the Marlins. Uh, yeah, Matthew. But you could also, I mean, there's so much hype for some of the top prospects that you don't even have to stash any of these players either. You don't have to stash any of these players either. You can just, you can sell them, you can flip them like immediately for a ton of money. 
Like this is the sort of stuff where, well, uh, Ricky Holbert was saying earlier, he he got the from this season from the first half of this break actually we got we pulled him a Royce Lewis autograph and he was the number one overall pick for the Minnesota Twins this particular year. Like he's he's received that from us already, and he is sending that off to get graded. So this is stuff like people would would like like to get graded and like hang on to and stash or maybe flip, but. Serious baseball card collectors are really into this Bowman draft stuff because of the prospecting. And then it's just like stock market from there. You know, you're you're assuming that the Minnesota Twins with their first overall pick made the right decision drafting Royce Lewis, shortstop from J. Sarah Catholic High School in California. And he's hoping that, hey, you know, they're paving the way for him to play Major League shortstop for the Twins. So they don't have like a, you know, they don't have anybody blocking that position, right? You got to think that. Then you got to think, all right, well, he's a high schooler, so he's going to take maybe a few more years longer than a couple, you know, than college players to get to the big leagues. Getting to the big leagues also boosts value. But if you're good enough and you're a high school player, you know, if you're good enough, you're a high school player, you're like, all right, boom. You might, you might get to the majors earlier, and that might even deliver more hype for a particular player. And Min Minneapolis is a pretty solid sports town, I would say. You know, they're pretty passionate about their sports. So there's definitely a fan base and a market there that would, you know, that could also help boost the value of a particular product as well. I think casual fans, I think, you know, Neutral fans also have really nothing against the Twins per se, so I think you can, uh, aside from their division rivals, and you, so you can say that there'll be a lot of other baseball fans in general who would love to collect a Royce Lewis, for example. Yeah, it's you don't really see this in football or basketball, right? Because because once basketball and football players get drafted, they're they're right in they're right into um, they're right into the their pro teams, right? So so then you already have, you know, their their cards of them in their pro uniforms. But these guys who are in their pro uniforms, but still have to work their way through a minor league system before they, before they even touch a major league baseball field. So yeah, there is like a, a I mean, it's literally it's prospects in the literal sense of the word. You're literally prospecting, like you're panning for gold. Right? In them, their hills. You're literally prospecting these prospects. They're prospects. There's Lincoln Hensman going to the Chicago White Sox. Michael Koontz with that. Oh, nice. You still have that, Jeremy Anderson? I have vague memories of that. One of one Joe Adele Leaf Metal Draft in 2017. It's not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. Hold on to that. He, I mean, still he's still one of the Angels' top prospects, and I think he he might. Ooh, that felt weird. <laughs> There's a printing plate right here, so I felt the coolness of the printing plate on my hand, on my fingers, and that threw me off a little bit. Is it autographed? We'll see. That was a weird sensation. Not autographed, but there is Bobby Dalbeck for the Red Sox. Not used to feeling metal in a product like this. Yes, Matthew, and that happens. Hardcore baseball fans buy these cases in bulks, ladies and gentlemen. They do. All right, nice one for the Red Sox. Greg Esfang, printing plate. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. But yeah, this is also, Matt, a product where the per box or per case price, you know, rises. So the demand, you know, classic supply and demand, right? So the demand becomes so high and the supply, obviously, it's, it's finite. You know, they don't make infinite cases. So there's only so many cases to go around. This is a classic product where as the stock, the global stock of this stuff starts to dwindle, the price, the per box price of these goes up. Wow, nice Kevin Maiton. Look at that, Hiller.
81 out of 99. Remember he was that international prospect that the Braves got in trouble for because they were kind of scooting money around illegally? Well, one guy got banned from baseball. One guy from the front office got banned from baseball, and they had to release a bunch of international prospects like Kevin Maiton. He ended up being picked up by the Angels. There he is right there. So you might be able to see him in action for the Angels sometime soon. Yeah, well, hold on, Rory. What what did this go for when it came out, right? And now what does it go for? This is the jumbo edition. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Rory. So yeah, so original retail Matt is about two hundred bucks, one eighty to about two hundred bucks. And now you can go to a hobby shop and they're selling it for three hundred bucks. There's Alex Fiedo. Three nine. So you can see the value. Some people, I've heard of some people just buy cases of this stuff and then just, you know, they'll rip like a few cases. They'll buy a few cases. They'll rip two. They'll keep one and just keep it in their closet or something like that for, for a few years. And then if someone from this draft class hits big, right? Because there's got to be every draft class is going to have one all-star at least, right? If not superstar, find me a draft class without at least an all-star or two or one superstar. There's Jeter Downs, speaking of potential superstars. He's on the Dodgers now. Randy Ramos with the Reds. So people will hold on to that and then imagine if like, let's say, let's take this set for example. Let's say, you know, we pulled a Brian Miller, right? Where did he get drafted? I don't know if he's... What first round picks have we pulled here? We pulled like an Alex Fiedo, right? Went 18th overall for the... What if he turns out to win a Cy Young? You know? A couple other guys make it to all-stars, right? Maybe one guy turns into a superstar or something like that. Then all of a sudden, like everyone's like, oh, I want their, like, or, like their draft card, their Bowman draft card. And then all of a sudden, you're the one with the case and you're like, yeah, I could sell it for what triple from what, what I originally purchased for back in 2017. So there's a lot of like stock market -y kind of prospecting that can happen with, with cases that are as popular. It doesn't happen with every product. But for stuff like Bowman Drab, that's definitely one of the products where a lot of people do that. So that's why there's Peter Solomon for the Astros. That goes to Big Boys 007. So it's kind of funny because, yeah, if you're not, if you're not too into baseball, like I'm pretty into baseball. So, so this is... So all of these, this stuff is pretty interesting to me. For most people who aren't into prospecting, who aren't, aren't into this, right? You're going to be like, who are these guys? <laughs> There's a lot of paper. This break takes way too long, right? But, you, but you're like, so why are these, why, why are Jaspies, why is Jaspies doing this? You know? Well, then now when you start to talk, when we start talking about values and stuff, now you start to figure out why, you know, this is so worth everyone's time. You know, and we get to chat baseball, and that's fun too. I like these sort of longer breaks because you can start chit-chatting about baseball. It might be. Hold on. We started off with this, right? One, two, three, four. And there's a fifth autograph right here. Nice, there's Joe Perez for Big Boys 007 in the Astros. Oh, it's just busy jibber-jabbering. Ricky Holbert wasn't even paying attention that we're going to have some bonus autos here. There's Lord Escuriel Jr. to 499. D.L. Hall to 150. We got recommended viewing, Jake Berger and Gavin Sheets. And that, my friends, is that. There you go. Thanks, everyone, for watching. That was Random Team 2. 
2017 Bowman Draft Baseball. Time to give away our last Superb Owl Square. This is an exciting moment, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go back to the list right there from Chad B down to Daniel Patera and everybody in between. Everyone has a shot at this. All right. Good luck, ladies and gents. Let's randomize that list. Nine times, six and a three. Name on top gets the last square. One, two, three. Missed that again button. Four, five, six. All right, there's six and a three. Seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, name on top. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and it's Thomas. There you go. Congrats, Thomas. There you are. You got the last superb owl square. There'll be a separate video with the randomizers for all of that. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time for the next break on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.